Hey everybody, this is Richard, and today I'll be doing a review of the Geronimo trading system that trades from the last three weeks of trades, from the 15th of August through the 4th of September. Overall, it was a pretty tough period for us. We had four spread trades, they were all losers, and then one day trade that was a loss as well. So all in all, it was a loss of about 35% on a $15,000 unit size, which is about $5,316 per unit traded. But here's a trade list and let's go ahead and look at some of the trades. Um, I know this trade list is a bit confusing. We'll start with the easy one. The last trade on the bottom, that's just a day trade. It shows that we went long at 4015 and got stopped out at 4003. So that was that trade for a loss of about $600. Uh, if you look though at the spreads, these are the ones that can be a little confusing to read. But if you look at the time here, this is mountain standard by the way. But the light gray shows the entry for the, the short put and then the long put. And so that's why you'll see four different um, sets of, of trades, uh, one for each spread. The dark gray, that just shows the exit for that trade. Uh, and, and for us, those end, those end up being just letting it expire until the, the close or letting the option expire. And then we get assigned the option and then um, and then that exits us out of it because we get assigned a long and a short if it's a max loss like we saw on all four of these. So these were pretty tough. Um, the very last one was probably the toughest because we were actually up a decent amount on that trade and then uh, some news came out and market ended up reversing and we ended up taking a, a, a max loss on it. So that was a very difficult trade and I've, I've been looking closely at all this just to get a feel for where we're at and to um, to let you guys know kind of what I saw and what came out of that analysis. So let's go ahead and jump in a bit and, and we can talk more about these trades. Now the first thing I'd like to do is just show you this chart of the S&P 500 and I have dotted lines here on each of the months so that you can kind of see how how the what the month looked like on kind of a, a, a daily chart versus the performance of the algorithm. A couple things I wanna point out is that notice how just because the S&P was down, it doesn't mean that we take losses. In fact, if you look September of 2021, we were actually up about 5.19%, even though the market closed down. If you look at May, uh, we closed the market closed down by a large amount and we actually closed up by an incredibly large, we, we closed up 36%. And the majority of those games were actually seen when the market was selling off. And so just because the market closes down doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to have losses. Uh, June of 2022 is another example. The market closed down and we were actually up about two and a half percent. So I don't I don't want anyone to think that that if the market is down, we're going to have losses. That's not what this is showing. What it is showing, though, is if we have a strong kind of V top like you see uh, that's highlighted in these four different instances, those tend to be the toughest situations for, for the algorithms. And that's common of, of many momentum traders of, of always having a tough time with those kind of conditions. And so once again, we saw it happen in August where the market was in a very strong uptrend and then it just did almost an immediate reversal. We, we also saw it happen in April of 2022 and we, we took some losses in April. Not as bad as this time, uh, but we did take losses. And then in February 2022, you saw it happen, and same with January as well of 2022. Uh, but again, in September of 2021, you had a, a similar, although the ride up wasn't quite as sharp, but the ride down was definitely um, fairly substantial, and we were actually up for that month. So even if you get the V top, it doesn't mean that we'll have losses either. It just means that the odds of it increase. So I wanna just highlight that. And the other thing I wanna point out is when the market reverses the opposite way, we tend to not have those issues. And that's, um, that's primarily because the momentum or the put spread algorithms will have been out of the market. And so we don't get hit on the swing, on the upswing. And so it's only on that downswing that, that we, we can get hit as, as the market rolls over. Now, if the market rolls over slowly, then a lot of times we'll actually be profitable uh, and that's because of the, the nature of the spread trades. They, they aren't guaranteed to be losers just because the market is down. They, uh, they can have winners depending on how, how big of the move, how big the move lower was. So, um, so yeah, those are a few things I wanted to point out. 
And then when you sprinkle in the day trades on top of all these different days, then it can really give us a lot of really good days, even though the market is down and even if you, you get the V top. But in this case, we just didn't have any lineup. If we would have had some like we did in May, then obviously this V top would have been would have looked a lot different. So the main thing I want to leave with you is that the, the, the primary reason why we took the losses that we did are similar to reasons why we saw losses in January and February and April and then now in August. And that was because of this strong V kind of reversal. The past couple of weeks have been a reminder to us all that trading futures does involve substantial risk of loss and it's not appropriate for all investors. That all said, I really am confident in the algorithms that we'll have a good rebound. The reason why is whenever we have a, a strong sell-off like we saw towards the end of August, a lot of times that is followed by some really good day trades. And that's in the form of either short day trades as the market continues to sell off or short covering rallies. And so I am very confident that we'll have some kind of a rebound and that the algorithms can pull out a really good September. And I'm super optimistic that we'll see that. But of course, there are no guarantees. Now, at the same time, I don't want to minimize the losses. So um, if anyone has any questions or any concerns, feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at richard at algorithmictrading.net. I'd be happy to, to go over any trades that you had questions on or any other concerns you might have. But to kind of end the, uh, this video, I just want to remind everyone that, again, um, these algorithms are, in my opinion, very strong. And none of what happened in August has given me any concern at all. Um, I pointed out the reasons why, the, the, the primary reasons being that, that we've seen this in the past. And overall, there's nothing new that has occurred that would give me any concern. Um, but it doesn't make it easier. Uh, for sure, it's difficult when we see these kind of losses. But just remember that the losses can come back just as quick as they went away or as we took the losses in that two weeks. Um, it really only takes one or two good day trades. And so hopefully we see that soon. But thank you so much for watching, watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.